So today was Roxy's two month checkup. We did x rays, looked like everything was nice and healed. Doctor said we did a good job with the PT, so that's good news. She's ready to to go on some longer walks off leash. Uh, we still need to take it easy over the next few weeks, so she's not overdoing it and injures herself. But after a few weeks, um, is she still good? To, no limping or soreness or swelling or bruising or anything like that. Uh, she'll go back to normal activity. We can start throwing toys and all that kind of stuff. She can be wild to her heart's content. Um, so, so everything looks really good. Uh, she's building her muscle back, which is nice. Uh, right leg's still not as big as the left leg, but it's getting there. Might take some time to to get that back to normal. But um, so hopefully we don't have to do the other leg. It is a genetic thing. So, you know, I feel like I've heard the vets say within a year or so the other leg goes. And if you see it in, in one leg, it's high probability that the, you'll see it in the other leg. So hopefully we get some time out of it, though, before, um, before that happens. We've been doing some stretches and whatnot to keep the... the back legs limber so I don't know it's not really gonna prevent it but maybe they'll postpone it um, I have a, a co-worker that she uh, she had a mastiff that had the same surgery done when she was two or three I think and she got pretty lucky and the other knee didn't go out for about 10 years by that time the dog was at an age 13 years old it's pretty old for, for a Mastiff, so they were pretty comfortable with just ended up putting her down instead of trying to make old dog recover from a big surgery like that. So um, so hopefully, who knows, we'll see if we get a year or two or maybe even longer. She, uh, she, has, she gets glucosamine supplements. Um, she'll have arthritis in that leg for for life unfortunately it'll probably just progress and get worse as older she gets um, so we have anti-inflammatories uh, Rimadyl um, at home so that if we if she does start to limp or something we can give her that and that'll help or uh, we can even give it to her preventatively if we're planning on going for a big hike or something um, that'll help keep things loosened up so. All right, well, thanks for joining us on this little little journey. Um, she's pretty happy, healthy now. So uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. Check out any of our other videos, and uh, we'll see you next time.